Welcome to Everyday Cooking with Anne. Today we're going to be making a family favorite called mini meatloaves. Now this is a great simple recipe of a dinner you can make for your family very very quickly and your mother's old-fashioned meatloaf that was kind of dry and only had a little bit of sauce on just doesn't do because these meatloaves are so delicious and moist and small so that everybody gets their own individual serving of a meat, little mini meatloaf and covered with wonderful barbecue sauce. And let me just tell you a little story about this, this um, recipe. My daughter, who's married to a doctor and has goes out to lots of restaurants with his, uh, his friends and his colleagues, uh, this is his favorite meal and she makes it every year on his birthday. So it's very simple, but let me tell you, it's his first request. So men especially like this meatloaf. So if you want to please the men in your family, this is the recipe to go to. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you first a little bit about the main ingredients, which are very simple as well, and then go on to the topping, which is the sauce. Okay, I'm only just using one pound of ground beef, and that's what the recipe calls for. You can double this recipe or one and a half times it to help to make it your, uh, fit your family's uh, needs but I just have a pound of ground beef actually I go to Costco I buy the big you know 10 or 12 pound one and then I cut it into slices and then I put uh, smash it into little a little uh, Ziploc bag so I can take one pound out at a time and get ready to go um, it's going to include um, a half a cup of chopped onion and three quarters of a cup of cheese and I'm just going to throw this in here and you don't you can use more or less of that if you'd want but this is going to be kind of a binder to bind it together and it also has three quarters cup of oatmeal this is also a kind of a filler for most um, eat meat loaves and it's also going to have an egg And my, one of my best ways of making meatloaf that I was taught by my mother, and I still do it, is just to use your bare hands rather than a spoon or something. So I'm just going to start mushing this right now with the egg. It'll create some moisture. Now at the same time, uh, you're wanna, gonna want to put a little bit of seasoning in here. Just be careful you don't put too much salt in it. It's not a measured amount that I'm using, depending on how much ground beef you have, but I'm probably going to be putting in about a half a teaspoon of salt with this and a little bit of pepper. Another thing that I use often is garlic salt. I'm just going to sprinkle that in a little bit. And also uh, Lowry seasoning salt or any other kind of seasoning salt you like. So, you don't want to put too much in it because you don't want it to be too salty. But that's what we're going to use to squish around here. And it's already really nice and moist. And this only takes a minute to make, as you can see. I think the cheese actually really makes it. If you want to put a little bit more of that in, you can too as well. Size of your family, you could determine what size you would like to make for your little mini mini wheat loaves. Um, this recipe calls up. You say it says that you can make up to eight. I'm going to see how many it makes because I'm only going to make small loaves like this. Now I'm putting this on parchment paper on a kind of a rimmed, looks like a cookie sheet or a, a pizza pan. If you have another rim sheet, that works fine too because you will have some grease there from what, that from the hamburger. So I'm just going to make these and um, they. Uh, Everybody loves these for leftovers too. They're still very moist and delicious for leftovers as well. So I kind of make it into a little oblong like this and not too... Looks like the amount I have is going to make about six of these. Okay, here they all are ready to go. Okay. I, I, I'm going to stop now and I'll be back in just a moment after I wash my hands and I'll show you how to make the sauce now. See this took all of less than five minutes to make just the little mini meatloaves. Okay, now we're going to be making the sauce that goes on top. And that calls for approximately one cup of ketchup. So I'm putting that in here and I'm just eyeballing that as well. And what I do is if I have um, extra barbecue sauce in my refrigerator that I can add to it. That just gives it a little bit more zip. So maybe a quarter cup of that on here. 
And up to a tablespoon, you can use Dijon mustard, yellow mustard. I like to use spicy brown mustard. So whatever kind of mustard you have, tablespoon of that. Gonna eyeball that as well. And you're gonna put in a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. And a third of a cup of brown sugar. And that's all it is. Now, if you're, you know, you want to um, have it not so sugary, of course you could use some kind of a sugar substitute like Sevia or some monk fruit or something like that if you want to not have actual sugar in here. Okay, so then I just take this and I want to cover each mini meatloaf with the sauce. That's why this is so good, is this sauce on it. I'm a sauce girl. Sauce is all about the good food. Okay, so I'm going to cover each one of these. Okay, and then when I'm finished covering these, I'm going to put this in the oven. Now, the recipe calls for maybe 40, 45 minutes. I'm not going to let it go that long in my oven because I don't want this to be overdone at all. I want it to be, you want the, you want the beef cooked through for sure, but you want to still have it moist and delicious. So I'm going to be checking these sizes since they're a little bit smaller than some that I have made, uh, probably at about 30 minutes to see if it's done. It might go 40 minutes, but I don't think I'll go the whole 45 minutes for this because these are smaller loaves. I'm going to finish putting these on. You want to try to cover all of the meat you can. It's okay if it slides down over the side. And these are going to kind of get nice and sticky. Now, I'm also roasting in my oven right now some... Um, Roasted red potatoes to go along with this dinner and all I did to do that was just chop up some red potatoes Put some olive oil and then I put some uh, uh, herbs, de, uh, herbs de Provence on it and a little bit of salt and pepper And I spread it on the little pan. And I'll show you that when I'm finished too because this is a good side dish to have with these um, Oh, so here they go in the oven for um, I'm gonna put it in for 35 minutes before I check them It's been 35 minutes that our um, mini meatloaves have been baking and ro or roasting in the oven and at 350 degrees and I what I did was I took the biggest one or one of the biggest ones and I just cut it in half here to see if it is completely done and it is it looks like it's very moist and you can see it's covered with the sauce it's kind of sticky and yummy I think this is perfect, and I'm serving it with my um, roasted um, rosemary and um, herbs de France um, red potatoes. So we'll be serving that with another vegetable for this dinner tonight. I hope you'll give this a try. It's really a winner. Trust me.